up everybody? Welcome back to Incredible Science. I'm starting it off a little different. My main camera is right there. I'm on my vlogging camera because I want you guys to be up close in the action and I don't want any lights in here because we're gonna do something with the lights down. I'm trying something, I was thinking of something and I don't know if it'll work. I'm actually so curious to find out what will happen. I figured let's go on this journey together. Let's figure this out and see this happen together. So I was thinking of doing a video just last week with liquid nitrogen. I was playing around with food coloring and I was thinking, hey, what if I put food coloring in liquid nitrogen? And then I saw someone else on YouTube do it, but I did think of something even cooler. So, so I was digging down here looking for something, something totally unrelated, and I found these, if I could get it out, glow sticks. I found these glow sticks. Do you guys know where I'm heading with this? And I was thinking, what happens if you take glow sticks and put it in liquid nitrogen? I'm not just talking about the stick, I'm talking about the liquid. See, when you crack it and the glow stick fluid is glowing, and I'll, I'll explain how what causes it to glow in a minute, what happens if we cut it open, pour it out in liquid nitrogen, The li it's liquid, right? There's liquid inside it that's glowing. Will that liquid freeze in the liquid nitrogen and will we be able to pull out a solid piece of glowing liquid? It sounds like it should work, because everything freezes in liquid nitrogen. So we're gonna crack some of these and then cut it open, pour out the glow juice, and then pour that in liquid nitrogen, and we'll see if it glows. So I'm excited to try it with you. I think it will try. I think it will try. I think it will glow. Comment, hashtag glow if you think it's gonna glow. I, I think it's, it's definitely gonna glow. The question is will it freeze? So we'll find out together. Now, before we do anything, guys, I want you guys to do one thing. I'm gonna do a giveaway in a second, but I want you guys to subscribe. Hit subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. So I'll give you a minute to do that, and then we're gonna do the giveaway. Okay, so I hope you could press pause and, and do it. Anyway, let's do the giveaway right now. I'm giving away Stay Incredible Fidget Spinner. Is a focus right here. Stay Incredible Fidget Spinner. That's that little, it's like a toy that spins around. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one, but I, yeah, maybe I should make a video about it. That's a cool idea. And a Stay Incredible Pop Socket to the first person that can comment below when I say the word nitrogen. And based on this video, probably gonna happen sooner than later, so a little tip right there. All right, so when I say that word, be the first person to comment the exact time when I say that word, and I'll send it to you. Simple as that. Okay, so what do we need? I have the glow sticks right here. Let's go get the liquid nitrogen. I store that underneath this little area over here. Let me get my gloves. Well, actually, I don't want to get my gloves because then I'm, I may stain it with the with the glow sticks. We're going to pour this into here, get the glow sticks going, put the glow sticks in there, and then hopefully pull it out and it'll be a solid. I'm going to put you guys on a tripod now so that I could use my hands to do that. Let's see what happens. Dark right here. Let's open this up. We'll get a couple of colors going. And let's see. All right. So, the way a glow stick works, by the way, is there's a glass capsule inside, right there, and then there's another chemical there. So when you crack it in half, the two chemicals mix, and it glows actually really bright. This is gonna be good. Let's do a couple more. Let's do this one. This actually looks yellow, but it might be blue. Oh, it's green. Green somehow always looks the brightest. And did we did orange, did we, I, don't, I lost track of like, oh, this is blue, red was blue. How cool was that? All right, so we have three colors right here. I'm gonna pour some liquid nitrogen, it's glowing really bright. I'm still gonna turn the lights down soon. I'm gonna pour liquid nitrogen in there, and that should be really cool. We're gonna then dump these into there, but not before I cut them open and then pour it inside like that. So that should be really cool. All right, here goes liquid nitrogen, about to be poured inside the metal container. All right, let me get my gloves on here. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that it'll stay glowing in the liquid nitrogen? I honestly don't know, but I can't wait to find out. It's gonna be really cool. There's still some glass pieces. So we have a blue right here, staining my scissor. Let's pour the, ooh, that's cold. That is cold. Even the outside of it is cold. Let's pour it in three, 
two, one. That is cool. Right, let's see what's happening to it. What'd it do? It just, it completely stopped glowing. It completely stopped glowing. Oh, I can't dip, dunk my hand in there. It did freeze it, but, but it stopped glowing. Let's try another color. Ready? Let's do the orange right here. Cut it open. Right guys, it like stopped glowing instantly. In three, two, one. That one's, and then it just dies. It just dies, it stops glowing. And I think it freezes actually. Let's do one more, but you know what I'm thinking? If we take it out of the liquid nitrogen and then it warms up, it'll start glowing again. Huh, pretty cool, let's try. Let's get the green going. So cutting it open, pouring it in. That's cold. And yeah, and it stopped glowing right away pretty much. Okay, okay guys, I have my paper towel right here. I have my liquid nitrogen glove here. I'm gonna dig deep and take out the chunks of liquid nitrogen and see if we can get it glowing again. There's some pieces. There's the glow juice. There it is, guys. Look at all the pieces of, there it is. I'll shut the lights and we'll see if we can see any glow coming back to the glow stick pieces right there. So far nothing, it's still black. I'm gonna leave the camera going here. Oh my gosh, look at the floor. Do you see the floor? It's like a starry night. It spilled over the floor and now we have stars on the floor. All right, let's keep it right there. Let's see if we see any glow coming back. Just for reference, those are the glow sticks right there, the ones that I poured in, but obviously those have some remaining. And that's the glow stick stuff that was in the liquid nitrogen. Oh my, what? That is, I just touched it and now look at my hands. How does, what? Look, my pinky right here, touching it. And as it warms up, it starts glowing, guys. That is sick, it's actually cold still from the liquid. That is wild. Guys, that, that is absolutely wild. Look at that, so I have to wash this off my hands, but as that warms up, it's gonna glow, crazy. My hands have it all over it now. My hands are gonna be glowing. Radioactive, as it warms up, it just glows. Crazy, guys, it's wild. All right, guys, as you see, it is coming back to life as it warms up. How cool is that? It's amazing, actually. All right, now we know. Guys, was that wild or what? I was so surprised by that result. But it's so cool, it froze instantly. You saw it on my hands. I touched it and I was looking at it and I look at my hands. I was shocked, I was completely shocked. And then it started warming up and glowing. Really, really cool. I guess the chemicals in there just react to the liquid nitrogen and just stop reacting with each other because it's so cold. And as it warms up, yeah. But interesting, because you put it in hot water, the reaction gets much, much brighter. If you put a light stick in a freezer, then the reaction lasts longer, but is muted. So liquid nitrogen completely like stops it in time. I wonder if you put a crack and half a, a crack and half glow stick in liquid nitrogen, can you theoretically keep it there forever and then just take it out and then have it glow like 10 years later? So anyway, maybe we should try that and then continue the video 10 years later. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Don't worry if you didn't win today's giveaway, brand new video, brand new giveaway tomorrow at 4 p.m. Give this video a big thumbs up as well. And if you want, subscribe to my vlog channel at Incredible Science Vlogs. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for subscribing. If you did, stay incredible.